they have trams in Edinburgh, which I did not know. Good morning! Day two and we are at Pappy's for breakfast. I tried to come here yesterday but it was too busy. Um, goodness, so let's see if we can find a seat today. They open at 9 and it's 9 right now. So just finished uh, breakfast. Today we are discovering the old town um, and the medieval town. I think they're like interchangeable. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's like 20, like 18, 19 degrees. So it's just perfect. We have nothing like nothing planned in terms of timing. So we're just kind of walking around. Where's Con Espresso? How much I love you, but it's a latte. Oh my God, I can't even. Walking through uh, Advocate's clothes. I think it goes towards the medieval old town. So this is Advocate's Close and such a beautiful view. Wow. If you're not interested, there's also a book lovers tour where they guide you around the areas where some legends um, wrote. This here is the Writers Museum and it is open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and yeah, I just showed you earlier, they give you a tour of all the legends that wrote books in Edinburgh. This garden of the National Museum of Scotland and it truly is a beautiful view. The nice thing about it is that this view is in the centre of the city um, and the other views like where we saw yesterday at sunset um, is kind of like on the outskirts of the centre so this is quite a nice place to come if you want a nice view of the centre. Castle over there, that's the castle, I think that's the, no, that's not the Scott Monument, that's another monument over there but that's the castle and it's such a nice view of the castle. Just toured the roof terrace and it's so worth it. Right now there is a tour um, of the museum by the museum and that's what we're going to go to. We've got like a minute to get there. My favourite is the hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dolly the sheep and her claim to fame is she's the first mammal to have been cloned from an adult cell. Mm. And as I say she's probably our best known exhibit. <laughs> we were Bina. So we just finished off at the National Museum of Scotland and it was really good. I highly recommend it. Seriously guys, I really highly recommend it. Currently we are um, we are on our way for our, to afternoon tea at the Singlet. It's an old library turned into like an afternoon tea spot. So we are currently at afternoon tea and oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. The first course we have a lentil soup. And I chose an Assam tea, which is like an Indian tea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You, Thank you very much. <laughs> Apparently that is vegetarian haggis, which should be interesting. bookshop in Edinburgh. So we have the science section here and honestly I've wanted to read this book for the longest time 
Oliver Sacks. It's about a neuroscientist. This book by uh, Richard Dawkins, Selfish Gene. It's really good. So this one, I've seen this as well. It's kind of like um, about like neuroplasticity, things like that. So this is the entrance to the women's area. <laughs> This is the complete plan of the mosque. It's quite big. So we have Edinburgh um, Central Mosque. This is the library. Here we have the University of Edinburgh student accommodation. And it's actually neighboring the mosque. And then the, the restaurants that I mentioned earlier are really cheap and um, something really great. I think it's such a great place to study, especially if you're thinking of coming to University of Edinburgh. Definitely consider it. This is Nanyang Restaurant. We just thought we'd watch sunset today for the second day because um, in the evening there's not that much to do unless you're like going to the bar or the pub or the club or go to the cinema I guess but um, yeah so just coming up here and like sitting down and enjoying the sight is something nice to do. Walk off dinner <laughs> and just get really tired for yeah, bed. Okay, so we're walking down now and you can see how steep the walk to Carlton Hill is. Not that steep. I highly recommend the itinerary that we did because the places that we went to yesterday were not open today because today's Sunday. Um, so definitely think about that. If you're planning a, a trip to Edinburgh, think about the days that things are open because on Sunday things are not open here in Edinburgh. Um, or bank holidays as well. So that's something to consider when planning your planning your days. I will have my itinerary um, in the description bar below and I'm also going to have a blog post about everywhere that I went, everywhere that I ate, the best halal restaurants in um, Edinburgh, things like that. Oh, it's really stiff. <laughs> it's nothing like the gym. Outfit for day two. This hijab uh, was from Oman and then my outfit is from Bershka. Blazer with uh, high-waisted trousers and that's it really. Um, kept it simple today. I really like all the, I, I love pairing matching um, co ward jacket and trousers. I just think it's so like simple but it can really make you look like you tried your best. I'm gonna climb out Arthur's seat tomorrow morning so I'm gonna get to bed now and call an early one and um, yeah see you all tomorrow. So this is the Scottish Parliament. It is opposite the Hollywood House up there to Arthur's seat. So right now we are still on the walk. Um, apparently it takes about 30 minutes to get to the top. Super excited, we wanted to come here for a long Stop tensing it. It's <laughs> YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> go up that way and go all the way up. There's a straight path that goes to the top. Or you can go to the left and go like that. Um, so we are taking that route where you go that way. And apparently, according to a local, it is nicer, more scenic. We made it back down from Martha's seat and we are absolutely knackered. I mean, it was such a refreshing walk. We're currently in the Scottish Parliament. Um, it's free to enter, apparently, and there's a talk at one o'clock and we have about 20 minutes left, so we're thinking to see the talk. I think they'll tell us what um, Parliament consists of. So obviously there's a security check as you walk in, so we had our bag scanned and things like that. Currently at the debating house of the Scottish Parliament. So this shows you who sits oh. where. Official sit over there. Official sit there. Oh. It's so different to what I expected it to be. Oh, it's a mace. That's what it is. That's what that thing is mm. in that box over there. It's called a mace. Along with the words wisdom, justice and compassion, compassion it, it says there shall be a Scottish Parliament. Mm. Yes, 1999. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's not too long ago. It's normally displayed in a glass case and it's uncovered before the start of each meeting. Oh, wow. The University of Edinburgh. This is one of their campuses. And look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. And the, the Arthur's seat is right at the back. Yes, imagine this being your campus at university. 
at this one. So we watched the sunset both days on Carlton Hill. We've got two hours for our train to leave, um, so we're going to quickly grab some lunch from the uh, Halal Road. <laughs> um, we're checking out the Turkish restaurant Ada. Um, let's see what they have to offer. cheese, uh, pastry, and a uh, red lentil soup, which is actually really good. <laughs> um, <laughs> 